A lot of people flocked to the gorge last week after the governor told everybody to stay home. Well, now the mayor of Hood River is telling people to not come to the city. Even national forest lands in the Columbia River Gorge are closed to try to flatten the curve. Jacqueline Abad shows you what's happening. They took these steps because of the governor's orders, but also because people were not practicing proper social distancing. Last week, there were a lot of people at the waterfront and recreation sites. The city of Hood River has ordered all lodging stays for discretionary travel to stop. This affects hotels, short-term vacation rentals, hosted home shares, and RV campgrounds. But there are some exceptions for essential personnel and for those who are vulnerable and in need of quarantine. We ban stays in Hood River, basically associated with recreational tourism, um, and, and that's really what it's all about. We're, we are trying to um, contain and mitigate COVID-19 here, and so we're, we don't want additional people putting a burden on our hotels with the contagion and or, um, you know, the possibility of more people traveling. And don't think about coming out here to hike. Virtually all trails and developed recreation sites are closed on U.S. forest lands. With ours, it's not just that you can't go on, say, like a formal or a developed trail. You can't go on those lands at all. And um, we are very interspersed with state and public lands here within the National Scenic Area boundary. So that type of a closure just made more sense for us. The city of Hood River restriction on lodging will go until April 14th, but it can be extended. Forest lands in the Columbia River Gorge area will last until further notice. Reporting from the Gorge, Jacqueline Abad, Coin 6 News.